Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Neetru and I'm a registered dental practitioner practicing in the UK. As promised, today's video is all about teething products that I found were effective and great for my baby. Yep, Maddy likes them too. It's very tricky to figure out how to soothe your teething baby. In my previous video, I've mentioned a few home remedies and um, things that you need to um, take care of when buying teething products. So when it comes to soothing your baby, we have a first line of treatment under which we have gum massages, you can offer chilled washcloth or ice lollies or frozen veggies to your child or um, you can buy teething toys. Now I bought all the products that I'm reviewing here today from Amazon UK. Um, I am not aware of whether it's all available worldwide. The second line of treatment are numbing creams and gels we get over the counter. But the medical and healthcare regulatory agency here in the UK strictly advise against using these creams because they may have ingredients that are unsafe for your baby. And if so, if you are using them, it should be strictly under the guidance of your medical, pharmaceutical or dental practitioner. So initially, um, Maddie was biting her fingers, not even fingers, she would stuff her whole wrist into her mouth, she would gnaw at her wrist, at her arm, she would gnaw my arm, okay? So when I introduced, um, let's say, a teething ring, she did not, she was not able to grasp at that age. So um, I found this product online. It's called a Mouthy Mitten. So I'm just showing the product. It has a wash bag as well, um, so you can wash this. So it's uh, BPA-free silicon, it's a hard silicon, and this is like a glove that you can put into your child's arm, okay? So especially children who gnaw their, um, their arm or their forearm, this is good. And then it has a Velcro portion where you just put your baby's arm in, okay? And then you just put the Velcro around it. Now, the one difficulty uh, I did face was at four months, she was not able to stuff this into her mouth completely. She wasn't able to open her mouth wide enough and she would bite onto it and take it off because her arm was kind of too small for um, the Velcro and it would easily come off. But this age, she's six months now and it's pretty perfect for her now, even though she does manage to take it off. But yeah, uh, this would be a perfect time to give this. Another product I love um, and Maddie loves as well is this Komotomo Soft Hygienic Silicone. So this is a unique design. These um, finger-like projections, they actually mimic a baby's finger. The best part about this is it is lightweight as well. That's another factor to consider. Babies are not able to pick up products that are pretty heavy. They're not able to hold it in their arms for a long time. Weight is a, a big factor when you buy products. So this is pretty lightweight. These finger-like projections are perfect for her to put into her mouth. She loves gnawing on this. She loves sucking on it. It's just perfect. And its edges have these um, projections that are great. They stimulate baby's gums and soothe her. Baby loves this. This is five star product um, for me. Another thing I love to do with this is this is a pacifier clip. So I love using this to kind of clamp this onto, let's say her car seat, her pram, or even her own um, dress. I just clamp it onto her so that she can grab at this whenever and just, you know, um, use this on the go as well. So. Uh, pacifier clips are really great um, to do that. Teething rings are really common. Make sure it's um, hard rubber. When you do buy rings, make sure they have, or 
This is actually common for most products when you buy um, teethers. Make sure they have projections, bumps, striations, so that when baby bites on it, it kind of, you know, soothes them. Kind of like an acupr um, acupuncture, acupressure um, therapy. And what I love about these rings are they are, uh, you can kind of hook it onto products. You can hook multiple products onto this and carry and um, hook it onto your pram bag or onto your pram and carry it wherever you go. So if you're just buying rings and they have a open end, it's really handy as well. So that's just an added fact. Now once teething becomes a bit more established and babies are able to grasp onto products um, or onto toys, you can um, introduce um, these flat teethers these are great as well it's easy it's lightweight it is hard rubber baby can um, navigate this easily into her mouth and the best thing is projections aren't too long that she can um, gag on them okay or that she can hurt herself or you know push it too far down into her throat and maybe vomit so if your baby does do that then um, try these flat model um, toys teether. Now, the next product is a very popular product in the UK. It's called a matstick monkey. Now, there are different, several designs. They are award-winning. Um, this is a design I got for my baby because the other monkey kind of has a longer head and Mandy especially tends to push and jab things back into her throat and kind of, you know, spit out the stuff that she's had so these have as i said these have these um, um projections these bumpy regions they're great this is like a toothbrush head uh, why i love this design is this kind of mimics a toothbrush head so it kind of helps baby get used to the idea of having a brush in her mouth um, five months is again five and a half months is it again a good time to introduce this um, younger than that, Maddie would constantly push this into her throat and kind of uh, regurgitate or throw up stuff that she's had. So that's the only downfall of this design, but otherwise it's great. Again, if you have a pacifier clip, it's great to clip onto baby's dress. As you can see in the video, I haven't introduced any of the common toys like newbie teething keys or these um, gel filled, liquid filled because I personally do not recommend them as um, they can break under pressure. Parents do have a misconception that softer the teether, the better for the baby, but no. Uh, baby's ache is all pressure build up. So in order for that to be relieved, they need to bite down on something hard. So push away all the soft mushy gel products and give them hard rubber good silicon. The next product is by far my favorite because it is a multi-purpose toy. And what I mean by multi-purpose is it, it ticks a lot of boxes. So this is the Lamaze Firefly. I think this retails for nine pounds or 10 pounds on Amazon, but definitely worth buying. So by multi-purpose, I mean this is a sensory toy, auditory toy. It's a visual stimuli with all its different colors. It has these knots for baby to grasp onto. This is something I introduced very young into um, Maddie's um, playtime. From four months, she was able to utilize this. So this is great for over a range of ages as well. That's why I love this toy. Um, and then once her finger grasp became more established, she would grab at these knots. This has an open end, fits anywhere. I love this as an on-the-go toy. It fits perfectly onto her car seat. It keeps her distracted and the best thing, it has a teething component. This is perfect. This is a hard rubber plastic um, kind of material. It's cute. The color is gonna keep her um, stimulated. It has these bumps of ranging sizes. In the beginning, she could only push the tiny part into her mouth and now she can go a bit further back, but then it still is wide enough to keep them from pushing it all the way and choking on it. It's attached to this. It has a little pouch to go in. And even these teething rings, she loves to kind of gnaw on or bite on and to grab at. And I love this. 
These are the products that I feel were helpful for me and for my baby to go through this difficult time. Um, I hope that these products will help you as well. Um, leave your comments below if they do and um, if not, let me know what kind of remedies worked for your baby. If you found this video helpful, please do share it for other parents who may be struggling and um, do like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.